Hi everyone, welcome to the Java session of this series and today uh, we will discuss one more pattern. So this is the required pattern and we will see how to print this pattern using for loops in Java. So here all the uh, borders will be printed and the rest of them will be empty. So it looks should look like a square box. Now we will discuss how to print this. I will. Oh, I have opened an Excel sheet, and I will uh, show you the logic behind this. So this is our requirement. So top border uh, should uh, everything should print X. And yes. Okay. And. Here I will simplify it. So here, this is the like uh, I uh, iteration. I will print it as I. So I starts from zero to four, and this is the uh, J iteration. So uh, you can see like. The letter X is printed when I is zero. So whenever I is zero, X is printed, and whenever J is zero, X is printed. And here, whenever I is four, X is printed, and J is four, X is printed. Means whatever the last number. So the borders uh, will be printed whenever it is a zero or the last number. For both i and j, so our logic is very simple. Uh, I should be either zero or j should be zero or j should be the last number or i should be the last number. Whenever the condition is met, it should print x. Else, it should print a uh, an m like it should print a space. Okay, we will do this with a uh, in Eclipse now. So this is my first for loop means this is my first for loop and i is equal to 0 i should be less than or equal to 4 i plus plus and inside this so in each uh, i iteration I am going to print j so for loop for j and j is equal to 0 j is less than or equal to 4 and j plus plus and here what is the condition now either i should be if i is 0 everything is x and if j is 0 everything is x if i is 4 everything is x and j is 4 everything is x so i'm going to give all the conditions if condition here so inside this there is a if condition if i is equal to 0 or j is equal to 0 or i is equal to n or i will check like i will uh, declare a variable here as n so that whatever I uh, give here, it, it will take that number instead of 4 hard coding here, I will give here. Okay, if whenever all these conditions are met, this is out. We are not going to give print ln because it will print in next next line. So I am just going to give a print. I will give a space to space also here. So when this condition is met, uh, print an x else print empty. So. Print a space.
will take one minute. So just print a simple space. So when end after print, so this uh, will go, this is for this line. So to come to this next line, whenever the uh, jth iteration is over, uh, it should come to the next line. So we will give a um, simple sys out. I mean it, this is for new line. We'll print what is happening. I think uh, I haven't given the space properly. Yes. See, this is the reason because after this X, I have given a space. So here I should have given two spaces. That is the reason. So now you can see all the borders are printing X and rest of the uh, places you can see a uh, space here. So a very simple logic. So the, like uh, before solving every problem you just write it and uh, find the logic behind this then it will be very easy for you to solve the problem. See when you put it in Excel and you can see how easy it is. So wherever the condition is met, you, you need to print X. Wherever the like uh, uh, rest of the places, you need to print a space. You can easily uh, break the so like break the solution for the problem, and you can easily solve this. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. We will meet with the, another pattern in our next tutorial. Thank